You will listen to what they have to say. If what they have to say makes a lot of sense and you see that they're living their lives in accordance with what they're saying, you will be attracted not only to the person, but to the message as well. The same applies to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If you know him, you will definitely love him. And what this means is, if you do not love him, it is because you don't really know him. So we have dedicated this beautiful week to highlighting some aspects of this great man who was the greatest of creation, the greatest to tread this earth, according to the Muslims, according to all of us. And we ask Allah to make it an opportunity that will help us reaffirm the goodness that we have. And at the same time, an opportunity to educate those who are unaware of this great man and what he stood for. From a very early age, he was known as as sadiq al amin he was known as the truthful the trustworthy so his friends knew that this person doesn't lie he doesn't cheat or deceive and this was prior to prophethood so imagine before prophethood already allah had prepared the stage for this beautiful message that was about to be delivered the man chosen was one whom all his friends, community, knew him as a trustworthy person, a very pleasant person, an honest person. When he was young, he went on some trade missions for a lady, later to be his wife, known as Khadija bint Khuwailid, later to be known as radiyallahu anha. May Allah be pleased with her. When he came back, from the first mission and he presented what happened and he gave the accounts of all the transactions and all the business that took place immediately she knew this man is not just honest or trustworthy but he is outstanding hence here is Allah telling us La ala azim. you are upon an outstanding level of character and conduct and this would mean any one of us, if you'd like to achieve success, if you'd like to achieve greatness, you have to take a page from the character and conduct of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And when, when I say a page, it's because we are not perfect. But our strive towards perfection should be a dedication that is lifetime. May the Almighty help us improve on a daily basis so that we can become people who are known at least as honest and trustworthy. Imagine no deception from the very beginning. And this is why at the age of 40, when he declared the message that Allah Almighty placed on his shoulders to declare to the people, who were those who accepted the message primarily? his friends and the closest circle because they knew him best if you know him you will love him well they knew him from prior to prophethood so they loved him the most subhanallah common sense if your own friends and those who are the closest to you do not accept you then you need to know you cannot be a good person 